Hey there, Chicagoans. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Chicago's iconic brick two flats. These handsome and well-built housing units have been a staple in our city for decades. So, buckle up and get ready to learn all about the history, variations, and significance of these incredible structures. Let's jump right in. Chicago, known for its diverse neighborhoods, is home to the famous Bungalow Belt. But did you know that these bungalow neighborhoods often feature brick two flats built by the same developers? These two housing forms complement each other perfectly, offering both economy and affordability. In fact, a two flat is essentially a stacked Chicago bungalow in terms of layout and design, minus the hip or gabled roof. Now, let's talk about how we describe these buildings locally. In Chicago, the term flat refers to a specific type of apartment. The number preceding flat represents the number of units in the building. So, when we say two flat or three flat, we are referring to the number of units rather than the style expressed on their facades. Unlike duplexes and triplexes, which are newer construction and more commonly found in the suburbs, two and three flats are the true gems of Chicagoland. These flats can be found in various neighborhoods, stretching from the furthest southern areas to the furthest northern neighborhoods. Some dense pockets of two flats can be found in West Garfield Park, South Lawndale, Lower West Side, Brighton Park, New City, Fuller Park, West Ridge, and their surrounding areas. Now, let's dive into the history of flats in Chicago. Back in 1909, these stacked apartments were built to cater to families grappling with social and economic shifts, such as the high price of land and the rising expense of domestic help. However, the two-flat proved to be more than just a solution for fancy Chicagoans. It became a successful way for people to achieve stability and upward mobility. The more units in the building, the more affordable the units tend to be. So, if a single-family home was out of reach, a two-flat offered the opportunity to rent out half of the building to help pay down the mortgage. During the 1910s and 20s, these flat buildings were constructed with the same materials and styling as Chicago bungalows. Concrete foundations, brick walls, limestone details, and craftsman elements were all part of their design. The city's population was growing rapidly, and the demand for affordable housing units was skyrocketing. Flats became the answer to this housing crisis. In fact, some two flats were split into front and back units, making them even more affordable. Basement units, legally or otherwise, turned some two flats into under-the-radar three flats. To this day, two and three flats make up more than a quarter of Chicago's housing. In certain neighborhoods like South Lawndale and Brighton Park, they comprise more than two-thirds of the building stock. Immigrant families filled these flats in their earliest decades, creating tight-knit communities. Even today, we see similar scenarios of friends or family sharing flats, fostering a sense of coexistence and privacy. Let's explore the different types of flats found in Chicago. Two and three flats, the most common variations, feature long, stacked apartments with living rooms in the front, bedrooms and sometimes a dining room in the center, and a kitchen in the back. These brick-clad siblings replace the earlier gray stones, offering a more economical option for builders. Six flats, on the other hand, are double-wide versions of three flats, with two merit apartments on each floor. They often feature classical revival or arts and crafts styles, occasionally with large front porches. And then we have one flats, which are one-story, 
single-family homes with all the charm and detailing of their multi-flat siblings. These one flats have the same layouts, brick construction, limestone detailing, and even parapet walls as two and three flats. In recent years, the Institute for Housing Studies at DePaul University has shed light on the rapid loss of two flats in Chicago. These buildings remain a critical part of our affordable housing supply, yet many are being demolished or converted into single-family homes and gentrifying areas. This is a significant loss for the neighborhoods that need an affordable housing supply the most. These hard-working buildings continue to be owned by small mom-and-pop landlords, ensuring a robust affordable rental stock and providing opportunities for small-scale developers. So, let's give a round of applause to our beloved two flats and their taller bungalow cousins for their invaluable contributions to our neighborhoods. And that's a wrap, folks. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Chicago's Brick 2 Flats. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into our city's architectural wonders. Keep exploring, Chicago! Like and subscribe to the Shalom Mint YouTube channel for more. Lorm Ipsum Gola sit on it, consectator out pissing elite. Said do I smart temper and sit a dunt at labor et dolore mong na alifla.